Welcome everybody, welcome to my Let's Play of Dead Rising. I am Mr. Battle, and uh, I'm going to be taking you through the adventures of Frank West, photojournalist, as he spends the next three days trying to figure out what the hell happened here in the cozy little town of Willamette, Colorado, <clears throat> and discover why the hell there is a zombie outbreak. So, let's find out what's going on. Um, yeah, this is a game that was released in 2006. It was by Keiji Inafune, uh, the same guy that did the Mega Man series. Um, and uh, this series got critical acclaim. And uh, anyway, I plan to do um, at least the first three games in the series. I have uh, Dead Rising's uh, 1 through 3. I also have Off the Record. I'm not sure if I'll do that one or not. I might uh, give 4 a miss because... I, I don't own it, I've never played it, and I've heard nothing bad things about it, so I might avoid that one. But I have the first three and I love them. So anyway, the plan for this is I'm going to be doing a saint run in all of them, which basically means I'm going to be rescuing all survivors, defeating all psychopaths, and getting the best ending in all games. So with all that blather out of the way, let's jump right into it. And I have nothing but empty save slots. I deleted all my old saves. So we're going into this entirely new, fresh, level one Frank. This is going to be tough. September 19th, 2006. That's the year that this takes place. something about research for a story. That's right. Got a tip that something big's happening. In a nowhere little town like that? They sure didn't mention anything about it on TV. Yeah, well, I'm freelance, pal. I don't make my living waiting for the TV to tell me what to cover. <laughs> if I get my news from CNN. I trust them. <laughs> All right. Here she is. <laughs> Willamette, Colorado. Population 53,594. Distinguishing characteristics? Jack shit. <laughs> About the only thing to do in this town is kill time at the shopping mall. I see what you did there. The army? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like taking a helicopter was the way to go. I bet they got all the roads blocked off by now. All right, listen. I want to get shots of the whole town before the National Guard finishes roping it off. Take me over the main street. Okay. And this section, um, we get to fly over the town and take pictures. Now, taking pictures is a big thing in Dead Rising 1, because Frank West, of course, is a photojournalist. So this is a great opportunity to take some pictures and get what are called PP points. Um, prestige points. Um, and they basically are your experience points in the game. You have enough PPs, uh, you level up. I don't know if it's a riot. It kind of looks like they're playing uh, playing a game. They're playing like a you know King of the Mountain or Keep You Off the Car or you know something. <laughs> I used to do this to my neighbor's car. You know, when I was growing up. I used to smash the shit out of his car and <laughs> he get angry at me. I think he's like trying to tell us something. Yeah. Is this what you came to take pictures of? Yeah, I think he's trying to say, hey, I won! I won! I'm king of the mountain! And his friends are like, no, you ain't. And they're pulling him off the car. He's like, get off of me, man! And they're like, no, you've had your you had your fun up there. It's our turn to be king of the mountain. See? 
Man, this this is getting rough. Oh man. Gosh. I can't believe it. I don't know. That's a really rough game, I'll tell you that. I have no idea. But one thing's for sure. Whatever's going on down there. It's not business as usual on this time. Man, is that a bus full of cheerleaders or something? Ugh. Oh man, really hot cheerleaders in there. And that could be the only explanation. By the way, you notice that I'm taking a whole lot of pictures. Um, yeah, in this part, just go ahead and go hog wild because um, by the time that you get to the mall, your batteries are refreshed anyway. You notice that there's a little counter there at the bottom of the screen. I have 17 shots left before my batteries run out. But um, yeah, they they reset once I get to the uh, once I get to the mall. So it's no big deal. I'll have plenty. Whoa! Holy shit. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. Because I'll get plenty of shots. One more for the road. There we go. Ooby Kibby. So yeah, this is the town of Willamette, Colorado. It's a sleepy little town. I wonder what caused this outbreak. I wonder why in the hell the zombies chose to pop up here of all places. Yeah, I'm starting to run out of photos or batteries, whatever. So, yeah, uh, I'd say she's in trouble. You know, I kind of feel bad at this part because it's like, couldn't they like swoop down and like, rescue her or something? And so they're just watching her. Like, I promise I'll take pictures of you. I throw the gun at Superman. Watch him dodge it. Mm. No bueno. <laughs> I managed to catch one more there. Yeah, I caught one last one. <laughs> okay. Looks like the uh, army's not happy that uh, we're there. <laughs>
Freelance. You know, go on the battlefield alone, no crew. So, uh, what's going on around here anyway? You came by helicopter, didn't you? What did you see from the sky? Well, if it were just a riot, I doubt the military would quarantine the entire area. The moratorium on information getting out is a little extreme, in my opinion. There's, uh, something else I can't put my finger on. Doesn't sound like civil disobedience. It's too quiet. <laughs> Almost as if everyone's already dead. Yeah. So why don't you just tell me already? What's going on? I think you'd better see for yourself. This, my friend, is hell. I am evil Antonio Banderas. <laughs> ah, now that's Carlito. And uh, Carlito is going to be the biggest pain in the ass for us over the next couple of days. They're the only journalists who made it out here. Looking forward to some nice pictures. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, timer has begun. Now, this is a timed game. Yes, we have a hard time limit, so can't be screwing around. That's the thing about Dead Rising, is it's famous for its time limit. And Dead Rising 1, of all the Dead Rising games, have the strictest time limit of all, so we have got to hustle. Now, in each of those rooms off to the side, you notice that there are lockers in there. Those contain alternate outfits for Frank, but I'm not going to worry about those right now. I need to get moving in the game. I'll show them off later. I'll done bag me a honey, Ma. Oh, oh! What in the world? Oh, yeah. That's... Yeah. That's not good. Mother of all hickeys. Okay, so anyway. Uh, just go out this door. And toodle on down this way. You notice that Frank is level one. He is really weak. He's really slow. Uh, he's not very good at much of anything. Frank pretty much sucks right now. Because he's not a commando dude, he's just a normal journalist guy. That will change. <laughs> Once he gets really high level, Frank is gonna be... a zombie killing machine. But, we'll get to that. woman go away <laughs> hello what do we have here hey this is no time to ogle pretty girls son yes it is you looking to get yourself beaten alive by zombies what did you just say zombies take a look out there 
If those ain't zombies, what would you call them? There's been more and more of them since last night. Now, they're all that's out there. Hey, look on the bright side. Mm -hmm. Zombies are stupid and slow. Like Democrats. <laughs> we should be safe in here. All right, then. Feel like making yourself useful? Take a look around the mall. Bring anything we can use for the barricade back here. On delay. Come on. Pronto. He's determined to get in my way. <sighs> yeah, I was trying to resist throwing that uh, political joke in there, but I, I couldn't. Couldn't resist. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So. Okay. So wait a minute. The, oh, that sucked. So this is their idea of. This is their idea of a barricade. That thing's doomed to fail. <laughs> oh, God. Hi. Oh, Madonna. Madonna's dead. Probably. Hi. What's going on, guys? I'm gonna check the, I'm gonna check the sound. Hang on a second. There we go. I just thought it, was, it sounded a little quiet to me, so. Alright. Hello, ladies. Perfect. Catch you on candid camera. Bye! Alrighty. I don't know why I'm doing this, but why not? Hello, Mark. Yeah, you look like a tough guy. I'm shopping with you. Something happens to raise my blood pressure. What do you mean every time? You don't even come home most nights, let alone take me shopping. So? I work for a living. Work? <laughs> Is that what you call that hanky-panky with that big-titted secretary now? Oh, please. What the hell does that have to do with anything? Listen to me. Every time something goes wrong, you have to raise your voice. I never should have married you. You want to split up then? Sounds great. I can't wait to see the look on your face when those zombies eat you. It'll be hilarious. That's my line, Buster. I like these people. Perfect. I want to take their picture. <laughs> okay. Anyway, you want to initiate the next scene, just walk over to this junk pile here. Old people are funny. <laughs> uh oh. What's going on? Oh, Jesus. The stupid dog. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, my God. Are you serious? <laughs> Oh, wow. This is her stupid fucking dog. Yeah. Well. What in the hell are you people doing? Run! Quick, move! Get over here! What I want to know, what the hell are Everyone, they doing? Ugh, okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I was letting out a yawn. I'm not bored or anything, I'm just just a little tired. <clears throat> uh, grab a baseball bat. Okay, got what I need. Burt Reynolds is dead! No! I was really sad when I heard Burt Reynolds died. 
take some pictures here. All right, I'm gonna just weave my way through here. Get to a safer spot. All right. Joe Casada's dead. Eh, I'm not that sad about that, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, I'm going to hell. Hi, guys. I gotta go. <laughs> uh, Fantastic. Uh, that's pretty good. Right, Get them group shots, you know. Batteries I have. Fifteen, huh? Let's see if I can get a few more shots. I know this seems like a waste of time, but actually it's it's a good idea to get your uh, PP up if you can. Oh! Yeah, and I'm getting bit. That's alright. As long as I don't get too swarmed. I can survive one or two bites. I'll be okay. Okie dokies. Uh, hmm. Trying to see if I can find a way to make it to high ground. I get slaughtered. Hmm. Yeah, okay. There we go. Alright, I just want one more big wide open shot. That was pretty good. And one more. Fantastic. Okay. I think that's pretty good. I think I'm satisfied with that. got away <laughs> no. as long as those things are in the mall we better not use this door uh what are you doing The air ducts. They'll get us back into the mall. And apparently those things aren't smart enough to use the ducts. So they won't be a factor. Wait a minute. You want to get back in there? What for? Hey. Hey. <sighs> nice camera. Are you a photographer? As a matter of fact, I am. Frank West, photojournalist. Could you show me some pictures, Frank? <sighs> you really seem to know what you're doing. Who are you guys, anyway? And what are you... I took that one near the entrance. That guy do something? No. Nope. Thanks for showing me, though. You're such a liar. Uh, hey, we're not done talking yet. I think Frank knows Just that. who are you guys? 
I'm Jesse. The man you saw earlier is Brad. That's all I'm authorized to tell you. All well, she's authorized. Uh huh. That's a very interesting way of putting it, isn't it? Well, anyway, whatever. <clears throat> Point is, we're safe and sound now. Kind of. Um, don't need that actually. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna grab these two things. Talk to Otis real quick. I'm going back to the mall, Arya. Wouldn't do that if I were you, but you young folks never listen to me. If you're gonna go, at least take this transceiver with you, and you better take this map too. Okay. Um, now Otis, he may seem like a nice guy. Um, he's actually gonna be probably the most annoying character in the game. We're probably gonna grow to hate him. I usually do. It's simply because of his stupid transceiver calls and the way they work in this game. Um, they're very disruptive and sometimes they can actually get you killed because you can hey, end up losing control of Frank. Uh, yeah, there's a guy over there. Um, I'm actually gonna go this way and get his wife and then bring her to him. It's a quicker way to do things. So. These are survivors, and survivors are a huge part of Dead Rising. It's too dangerous here, follow me. Okay, so I didn't have to get into a big long spiel with her, I didn't have to talk to her repeatedly. She's just following me. See, if I went to her husband first, I'd have to talk to her, talk to him for a while. I didn't feel like doing that. Fantastic. And whenever you see those icons above people's heads like that, that means it's a special photo op. <clears throat> and I just leveled up. My life gauge went up. Okay, you guys mind cutting your joyous reunion short? Not safe here, but I know a place. I'll take you to the security room. Follow me. Come on. Come on, Come on you fuckers. Right now, their AI is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with their AI. Um, uh, that, that's not always going to be the case. Uh, in fact, later in the game, the AI for the survivors is going to be so bad yeah. that you're probably going to hear me cursing quite a bit. I mastered the jump kick skill. Okay, good. I understand. Jump kick is actually one of the most useful abilities in the game. Because you can send zombies flying with it. Okay. I'm just going to save my game real quick. Okay. And off we go. Can't answer your questions. Okay, well, you know what? I didn't have any, so what do you think about that? Yeah? You don't even know what to do, yeah. Alright. Um, I could go the other way and take the elevator. Um, I don't usually like taking that way. Right now, it's perfectly fine to go that way. But uh, later on, it gets filled with zombies constantly. So it's better to go this way, I've found. Hey, it's Otis, back at the security room. Can you hear me, Frank? Let me give you a rundown of the mall's layout so you know what you're doing. Right on the other side of the warehouse, you find Paradise Plaza. There's lots of shops there. Restaurants, sporting goods, books, you name it. Pretty big mall, so you probably need to use a can now and then. Just check the maps to find mine. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh. Okay, uh, if you need a good weapon and there's none nearby, improvise. And in fact, mannequins, believe it or not, are good weapons. Or more specifically, mannequin torsos. Yes, mannequin torsos are actually among the best weapons in the game. Oddly enough. <laughs> they hit like a truck and they're amazingly durable. So, there you go. Zombies, huh? Had a feeling you'd show up. Oh, God, it's you. Look, 
Don't sneak up on me. <sighs> Brad was attacked. I located him on the monitor. Ugh. It's probably just a sprain. I've got to help Brad. Or he's done for. All right, fine. Give me your gun. Come on. I'm the reason you just got hurt. Let me help. No, I can't let a civilian do that. That's against regulations. Yeah, well, I don't think they had zombie-infested malls in mind when they wrote those regulations, kid. <laughs> you know how to use this? Kinda. I've covered wars, you know. Ah, uh, the infamous line. I've covered wars, you know. I'll explain something about that. Um, it's been a lot of people have commented on that over the years. Look, after I'm through helping you, you and I are gonna have a nice little chat. Maybe some sex, but you know, see what happens. <laughs> a lot of other things just resting right on his head. Okay, so anyway, he says, I've covered wars, you know. I'm going to drop this handgun because it sucks. Anyway, he says, I've covered wars, you know. And people are like, oh, well, that's... Who cares if you cover wars? That's stupid. That doesn't mean you know how to fight. Well, yeah. But the thing that most people don't realize is that when reporters cover wars, a lot of times when they're... Um, when they go on the front lines to cover the action from the front lines they'll actually be given a certain amount of um, firearms training in case of, the, of like emergencies or like, you know, if they brought under attack or whatever. Um, it's like a precautionary thing. So that's probably what Frank was talking about. I mean, I'm sure he wasn't trying to imply that he's like a famous commando or anything like that. Uh, just top off here. Grab a couple of orange juices. Now this is a place right here that you are... If you play the game, you're going to be going to this place. Colombian Roastmasters. Up the stairs. A lot. You're going to be spending tons of time here. Because you're going to be making tons of juices here. Mixed juices. It comes in very handy. And if you ever need to heal yourself or your allies, it's great. Uh, I just made myself a couple quick steps. Quick steps are awesome because they make uh, Frank run and move really, really fast. I also picked up a fresh katana here. Katanas are great weapons. They're very strong. Uh, and I just got attacked. And I just remembered I forgot a weapon that I need to pick up. Let me go do that now. I'm derping. <laughs> okay. Okay, there's a weapon over here. I actually dropped my handgun because I was like, you know what, I don't need that piece of crap, but I'm gonna get a better gun that's actually over in this location. Top off my health. And it's not the teddy bear. <laughs> New, it is over this way. Submachine gun. All right. Now let's go and be back up for Brad. And just got to weave my way through the zombies. It's not that hard at this point in the game because there are not too many of them. Later on, this place, among pretty much every other place in the mall, it's going to get packed by day three. There are going to be tons of zombies everywhere. Um... Yeah, you're going to be waiting your way through like thousands and thousands of zombies. Right now, it's not too bad. It's manageable right now. So, this is Leisure Park. Leisure Park. Frank, you there? It's me, Otis, the janitor. You said you're a journalist, right? I've been watching the monitors here and I got some info you might want. Some young guy wandering around Paradise Plaza. He's carrying a camera like you. Because he must be a photographer, uh, too. If you're taking pictures at a time like this, you're both crazy. Okay. Could you shut up now? Okay. I was trying to drink this so I could move faster. There we go. Anyway, he's basically telling me about a new scoop. Scoops are quests. They're missions, whatever. And that's a mission to meet up with Kent, who is a fellow photographer. Kent is awful, and I hate him, but we're going to ignore that. Uh... Let's clear these zombies away from the door. Uh, 
And oh god, I thought it was clear. Oh no. Ah, there we go. <laughs> That's gonna be a common occurrence. Oh shit. Yes, evil Antonio Banderas has already turned on us. Your, uh, girlfriend sent me to find you. Who? Jesse? Damn it! Okay, we'll have to talk about this later. You know how to use that gun? I've never fired at a person. All right, I'll cover you from here. You need to stick to the shadows. Try to get close to the target, okay? And what am I supposed to do when I get close? Kiss him. Well, the best solution would be to shoot the guy. But if you can't do that, keep him busy dodging your bullets and stay out of trouble. Are you up to it? I'm a lot better with a camera. But yeah, I'll give it a shot. All right. Next time he reloads, I'll lay down a suppressing fire. I'm counting on you. Make your way over there. One, two, three! Okay, and the game gave me another handgun, which sucks. So, there we go. Put that down. All right, let me use my submachine gun here. Okay. Do remember what button to press? Oh, I'm taking hits. Got him. <laughs> Not really a hard boss fight. <laughs> Fortunately, we will be seeing him again. He got away. Who was that anyway? I don't know. Well, thanks for your help. The name's Brad. I'm Frank West, photojournalist. And right now, I'd rather have an explanation than your thanks, Brad. Sorry, I've got nothing to tell you. Look, I don't know what Jesse told you. But as far as I'm concerned, we're through working together. So you cover your zombie story and leave the rest to us. You, uh, you guys are looking for someone here, aren't you? Hmm? Who is that? Where did you, you take it? You help me, I help you. <laughs> of a journalist, aren't you, Frank? A hot-headed, underhanded, hotshot paparazzi with nothing better to do than to invade people's privacy. I try. You got a point? You win, Frank. Let's work together. Jesse and I are DHS agents. And yes, we are looking for the man in that picture. You're with Homeland Security. 
Is that guy a terrorist or something? I took that picture in the entrance plaza. Right near the front door. The entrance plaza. You're sure? Hey! So do I have your permission to cover this story? Or not? Ugh. <sighs> I wanted to mention something about the uh, shooting mechanics um, in that last boss fight. Um, the shooting mechanics in Dead Rising are really just plain awful. Yeah. They're, they're absolutely terrible. Um, they improved somewhat in Dead Rising 2. They really still were not that great though. But in Dead Rising 3, they got a whole lot better. They got to the point where guns were actually viable. Um, where you actually wanted to use guns because guns were fun. Um, but yeah, in this game, guns guns are just terrible. I mean, there are certain points when they are handy, but they're so clumsy to use. Anyway, we're going to go with Brad across Alfresca Plaza to go and see if we can find uh, this old guy. Um, but right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here, into this, uh, gym here, and go and save my game at this restroom. And I believe that's gonna be good for a first episode. And, uh, I'll see you guys next time. I love you. Bye.